All right, today I figured we'd play with some synths and see if we could come up with some idea. So let's just go to instruments. I'm going to go third party here and just see what we have. All right, I've been playing with those a little too much. Let's try some native instrument stuff. Let's just go old school into contact. And I don't know, maybe dig around in the factory library. Or even um, retro machines is a good synth too. But gosh, I haven't opened contact in forever. I'll see if it even opens. Okay, it did. And let's go into factory library. And let's go under synth and maybe pads. And let's just dig around in here because I haven't been in here in years. And let's see if we find anything cool that we like. Now in contact in the factory library under synth, you can, it, they usually have two parts, this synthesizer. So you could like turn off A or turn off B and you just hear them separately. Like I actually like that a lot better than having B inserted. And let's screw around with some other um, knobs too and just see what happens. Cool. All right, I'm just gonna hit the next preset up here and see what else we got. And let's turn on B and see what that adds. A little loud. Let me put a limiter on just because I'm hitting this a little hard. Here we go. Lim. I'm bringing the threshold to zero. All right, let's see what else is in contact here. It's interesting. Let's see what B adds to the. Now I got contact as part of complete. I think I'm only using um, complete 12, but they're up to like 14 now. Complete's amazing. It has so much fun stuff in it. But we're just going to screw around with contact just to keep it simple. I would show you my MIDI controller too, but I uh, took the camera down. I'll put it, I got to put it back. All right, the pads are nice, but well, let's see what else we got. How about bass? If I remember correctly, there's still some pretty good bass synths in Factory Library. It's kind of dirty. Pretty neat. 
All right, let's, let's make a song with that one. I like that. I'm feeling it. Sometimes you just got to keep going till you feel it. I'm going to do a tempo like this. Three, four, one, two, three, four. 94. And let's go. Um, let's see what we can do here. Only thing I liked about it was that last part. So let's quantize it. And let's just save that last part. Get rid of the rest. This here. I think that's cool. All right, so let's save that as a part. I'm just gonna chuck it here and then let's keep recording some more stuff. Dude, my coffee has not kicked in yet. Give me take a couple more sips, and we'll go get something. We'll get there. All right, that's that's why I'm not doing so good, man. The coffee hasn't kicked in yet. Here we go. All right, let's just use that. So just that last part. So there we go. Let's extend this first note a little bit. Make sure it's full velocity. We wanted to go dun, 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 dun. That's it. All right, so let's put this at the end. Let's group them together. We have a cool bass line. Now we need to add some drums. And yes, I know I'm not using uh, Personas instruments in this one because, I don't know, I'm feeling a little Groove agent -y. Groove Agent is fun. It's like Impact in Studio One, but it's just a little different. I bought it as part of the Absolute kit from Steinberg, which is an amazing kit, our group of VSTs. And let's just see what kind of cool drums we do. Ooh, maybe a vintage beat over top of that. Let's play with that. Okay. Good, good, good. Let's quantize that. I'm gonna add some hi hats. Ah, oh, I wanted it to repeat. Bad loop, bad loop. Turn looping on. Here we go. Some hi hats. Good. And a fun thing to do is let's take all the hi hats, but not quantize them 100%. Let's quantize them like 50%. 
Okay. All right, we got drums that we're happy with. Let's colorize. I like drums yellow. I like bass red. Wow, these are new. I don't. I don't think the uh, palette used to be this coherent. All right, and then uh, we're gonna need something else now. So let's listen to it and get some inspiration. I'll bring in retro log. Okay, uh, I'm going to turn on retrospective recording and grab what I just did there. Cause, and I just want to grab the end because I think it just sounds cool. Oh, but it was looping. Damn it. I hate when I loop with retrospective recording. All right, here we go. All I really wanted was the end, so let's just do this. All right, I'm going to duplicate this entire track with the instrument. And we're going to do a split it grid on this one. Let's split it the grid. Musical function split grid. So now we have this. That might be cool. Let's hear how it sounds with everything else. Yeah. Uh, that sounds great. So let's hear how the beginning sounds. We got to add something to the beginning. Piano. Piano. So let's go into... All right, let's just make it a very Steinberg day. Let's bring in Halion 7, which has 7 billion instruments in it, or presets. And let's just find some kind of piano in here. So I'm going to click on single instrument. Let me let me just type in piano to the search right here. This is probably my v favorite VST of all time, just so you guys know. Oh, it looks like it's loading presets. Okay, and we go to all. Here's all the pianos we got. So let's see what we can do here. Yeah, let's use this. All right, we're getting there. It's taking on a little bit of, Van, of a Van Halen vibe. Check it out. All right, let's see what we got here. How did that sound?
this up one notch. I don't like these first four. I just want to get rid of these first four. Let's make my go. Something like that. And let's uh, let's put some reverb on that piano. We could do that just with a Personas room. Actually, why don't we chuck a mix on there? I haven't used mixed reverb, mix verb in a while. And let's just hear how, how we can make that sound. All right, let's put some vocals in there. <clears throat> yeah, let's hear it now. Let's hear it now. Yeah. Yeah. All right, not great, but I'm keeping it. This is just for inspiration. I'm just... My videos are meant to give you just ideas and help you open up your own doll. This is not perfect. I'm not making full songs, but I'm just screwing around. It's just fun for me. So I just record it and hope you guys have get something out of it. So let's hear it now. Let's hear it now. <clears throat> yeah. Let's hear it now. Let's hear it now. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do one more. Let's go. Two. <laughs> All right, let me just give me some space here. I make myself laugh when I record vocals. I don't know why. It's cheesy. Let's go. <laughs> it's just cheesy. It's like Eye of the Tiger cheese. That's what this reminds you of, Eye of the Tiger. All right, what am I doing now? I'm going to um, just shrink my mixer down. Just give me some space. And I'm going to make a bus. I'm going to add a bus channel. And I just want to, I like routing all my vocals through the bus. So let's take all these and add them. Oh, we, it just made its own bus. So let's get rid of this bus. Bye bye, bus. How do I get rid of it? Remove. All right, so here's the vocal bus, which just means all the vocals are going into here. So it's cool. I don't have to uh, necessarily put in a, a reverb on each one of the vocal tracks now and waste CPU. I'm just going to run them through this and hear how it sounds. Let's go. Let's hear it now. Let's hear it now. Yeah, let's go, let's hear it now, let's hear it now, yeah, yeah, let's go, let's hear it now, let's hear it now, yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's hear it now. Let's hear it now. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Let's hear it now. Let's hear it now. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Let's hear it now. Let's hear it now. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I'm going to put a compressor on the vocal just to tame it 
And then uh, I think we're good. Let's go. Let's hear it now. Let's hear it now. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Let's hear it now. Let's hear it now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Let's hear it now. Let's hear it now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Let's hear it now. Let's hear it now. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You get the idea. Fun little 20 minute warm up session. That's what these are. For. One day I'm going to make a whole song. I, I did a presentation to a school full of kids the other day and they're like, can we hear some of the stuff that you've done? Because I was teaching them how to make digital music and trying to blow their minds that they could just literally open up a laptop and make music. And, um, which does blow some of their minds because they're trained to be like, oh, I got to learn how to play piano and I'm, I'm in a violin and orchestra. I'm like, dude, just, you want to make a song? Just open up your laptop. So I did a presentation to a school of kids and then they're like, can we hear some of your stuff? Because you said you make songs every day. And I'm like, oh, I'm so embarrassed. I don't make any full songs. <laughs> I just make this. So I played one of these and I'm like, hey, forget it, guys. Forget it. You don't want to hear my stuff. Anyway, uh, hope that I helped you this morning or whenever you're watching this. And I'll see you tomorrow or whenever I make the next video. See ya.